Uh, do you want to get to the goalie interference? Oh, my God. Like, seriously. Was that a yes or a no? Uh, I, I'm... Do you want to start with... There was the play in, in between the Blues and the Predators. And then there was... The Blues uh, and the Bruins. Sorry, the Bruins and the... Blues and the Bruins, right? Uh, and Doug, Doug Armstrong still beside himself. Well, I, Jake Allen goes out, and I... The the big one was the Vegas Winnipeg. Play. That one is just. But here's here's where we're lo- looking on TV, and the play with uh, the Blues and the Bruins, and the Bruins do score. Jake Allen slides over. He loses out of the puck, and he's pushed out by a Bruin <laughs> by Jake DeBrusque, right? Well, yeah, but but it's also a Bruin that it's there's a, two of them. It's that's... a first of all, it's a Bruin that's going for the puck. And if the if the Blues player did knock it off his skate and got it out, it would be less of a thing. But that's. Kind of what they're arguing. He's got a right to try to go get the puck. Spooner, the puck's in the crease. So now that, uh, as they're saying, uh, the new thing is the tie goes to the runner now. Tie goes to the player. It used to go to the goaltender. Now the mm-hmm. tie is going to the runner. That's the new change in the philosophy of the rule. Well, it was the Bruins that ran Ryan Miller that time. They got it all changed when he's in Buffalo. Remember that? Where just yeah, the wasn't... GMs were meeting and all of a sudden it was like, leave the goaltender alone. So... Now you have or seems you know, to be was the player, right? So yeah, you have what? a right to go to the puck. So am, am I right? Did in you this? think that was goalie interference? Yes. Am I am I led to believe now that they've been told to less to relax the interpretation? Is that what was I sent in the been, letter? I think they've been told uh, to go with more of their gut instinct. Like, don't look at it fifteen hundred times unless it's unless Agre- so unless, unless it's, it's egregious egregious. Yeah. Something you didn't see. Something you really, really didn't see that jumped out at you. So, in other words, relax it. Right. Okay, Win- Winnipeg. Winnipeg, well, Win- Winnipeg is as is, is bizarre as I've run across because Neil goes to the net and slashes the goaltender essentially across the head and breaks his stick. I mean, it's as bad a slash across the head as you're going to see. So... The, the proper call, in my opinion here, is the referee, the two referees, call the slash. It's a dead play. Call the slash the way it should be. And could have been a five-minute major. Mm-hmm. But call the two minutes for slashing. The play's dead. And you don't have an issue with goalie interference. But when they And they missed it because it happened fast. In fairness to the referees. The back referee's looking for that puck, right? I know. In fairness to the referees, it happened real fast. So now, all of a sudden... They go and look at it, and they see this slash to the head, and is that real? And the puck's laying between the legs, or just a little bit behind them, and Halla taps it in. So it is, and they're saying the the slash really is a hockey play where you're going after the you're going to the net or going after the puck, and I have a little trouble with that. So it's not goalie interference. That's the interpretation I got last Basically, night. From what I'm getting in the recent trend, Gordy, is if the puck's there first, then you can almost go. Do what you well, want. Well, and that's what Ryan Spooner did in the bottom. Then you could go yeah. into the he, crease. He, he sawed yeah. it out, right? And then this one, like Doug says, the problem is they're looking at the video, and now there's nothing they can do about the slash. Nope. They can't go back and say, you know what? If you probably showed guys to say, that's a reasonable solution. So the problem is... That's irrelevant because now the goaltender is not impeded. He doesn't know the puck's behind him. Now he's impeded because right. he might have a concussion. But he's the puck is loose behind him. And the point is they're not impeding him from going to get it, except he's probably seeing stars. But So that's, the, again, that's the, that it's, it's that missed first So call. my question is before the Batman interpretation of the new rule, do the referees go to the thing and see that and say, well, I'm sorry that that's that is in fact goalie interference. I think it would, you, I you think it was t- the same call before before the All Star break and and after maybe because so, of, because of the Austin Matthews example. Yeah. So the bottom line is on the call and for the all the Winnipeg fans and everybody that's upset, the the missed call was the missed slash by mm-hmm. the two referees. And I'm sorry to say this, but it happened so darn fast. You got one guy outside. You got one guy behind the net. Focused on the puck, the guy behind yes. the net fully because it was it was and loose. They missed they missed the slash. You, you know, Win- and, and then saying that later on, can you believe those pucks stayed out in overtime for Winnipeg? 
Like, I mean, that would have been like, you give the Jets tied it late. Yeah, I believe so that it. At the point just, like, I, it didn't surprise me in the least. Because it's Vegas? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was <laughs> no, but it's crazy. Like, a, a, like they should have won twice in overtime and had, like, you know, Vegas had good luck once again, go figure it. And to the Jets' credit, they get a goal late, so they get an important point out of it despite... I mean, I had we had Paul Edmonds on this morning on the it's and and I mean it's a trap. You did, we're just like driving NHL around. Network. Okay, on thanks. Syria, uh, Syria, but I mean, it, you it's make a, it sound like you're in your car and you're just chatting I just with call Paul. People. But it, I mean, it's Who's Paul? obvious. Paul, Paul Edmonds, Edmonds radio play-by-play oh, -play okay. voice of Winnipeg. Yeah, but I mean, okay, sure. as you can imagine, it's the whole town's on it. Particularly, uh, yeah. like I mean, today it is and it is they, a travesty of all yeah. sorts in the Winnipeg NHL. Winnipeg has had a couple of plays go against them this well, year. Well, says he's had about five bobs go against. Okay, this is. The play against Dallas earlier this year. He catches the puck. I can't remember the Dallas player. Hits his glove because he doesn't squeeze it in time. And the puck leaves his glove and goes in the net. It's it's called a hockey play. Yep. And my interpretation is that's a slash. Yep. But it was allowed to count. So there's a couple of those things. Yep. Last night, as crazy as it is, under the, the, the review protocol it's not goalie interference that's not goalie interference but when you're on the bench and you're a player and you're a goaltender and you're a fan and you see neil get away with that yeah it's not right no it's not right that he got away with it well I mean, and, and you're a referee watching the video you're saying the same thing the, oh no you're, nothing you can, hey, you're just saying the, whole i like wow the I referees are sitting there saying like uh, and and Hockey Ops said it to me last night. That happened really quick. It's almost a, like the Marchand elbow to the head. A lot of people, the referees missed it, and a lot of fans missed it, and a lot of TV people watching missed it when it happened because it happened so fast. So uh, Paul Maurice, I give him credit. I mean, he controlled himself. As I mean, uh, obviously, if he hadn't been winning so much lately, it might have been different. So a tough one would be here, a linesman who really doesn't want to get involved but sees it. And then comes in and says, okay, no, but you got to call five in a game. That's right. Right? And that's a tough one. That's I mean, the, but that, that involves four guys. I know. But that but that would be the one, say, but even though d arguably does James and, Neal, James Neal, does he deserve that just based because you're trying to make a goal call right? Or what should yeah, it be, right? I, I don't blame them. I, like, I don't blame the Winnipeg fans and Winnipeg players. And Blake Wheeler, Blake Wheeler, <laughs> I thought he called it pretty well. Yeah. No. That's not goalie interference. Just take the goalie's head off. I mean, that's not a problem. Well, and Connor Hellebuck essentially saying, is what he's and Connor saying. Hellebuck's also saying, "I got to start embellishing more. I got to die. Yeah, if he yeah. I got, I, I got to pull the WWE. Yeah. I yeah. got, I got to start doing that more. He anyway, was, it's good to know that it's under control. That it's we've got it sort of moving in the right direction. It's here. so tough. I know it is, and I know it's little solace to them probably. But Winnipeg and St. Louis will both be in the playoffs. Doug Armstrong mm -hmm. said it best. The cat's out of the bag when it's with respect to this. Horses left the barn. Yes. That's just another way of saying the cat's out of the barn. I know. <laughs> I guess so the cat's out of something. Cat's whatever. out of the bag. Cat's Dog, out of the bag. Yeah. Dog's in the bag. What the, the hell's the cat doing in the bag? I, let's let's well, not go there. No, no, no. That's no, wrong. Going there. Exactly. Don't. Why do you have to push it? <laughs> well, it just this is another like example. a weird comment. No, this is another example <laughs> that you don't give a hoot. Yeah. You're not scared yeah. of being fired. Where